Hey everyone, I and I'm glad to be speaking at Supply Chain Security Con as part of the Open Source Summit North America uh, 2023. And today I will be speaking about securing your Kubernetes manifest with Sixtor or Cosign. And uh, we will go through the different options you have out there. We will go through um, a, a very quick introduction about what is Sixtor and Cosign, and we will review um, the workflow of a typical um, workflow for um, container image signature with Cosign. And then we will see three main scenarios um, to verify um, the signature of your Kubernetes manifest within your Kubernetes cluster. The first one will be with Kyverno, uh, an admission controller, a policy engine. And the two last one will be uh, verifying your end charts or your OCI images with Flux, um, a GitHub tool out there. But first, let's make sure we, uh, uh, we are talking and defining what is software supply chain. And uh, software supply chain is uh, from a developer perspective, I have my code, my source, I will trigger a build, um, I will grab some dependencies, and I will uh, package uh, uh, what I want to, uh, to, um, to expose to my consumer. Um, but here, we could see that this consumer is actually uh, consuming this package, this artifact, in our case, maybe a container image, but we know that it's coming from uh, the right place, right? Uh, but uh, do we know if it's what the owner intended to provide and expose to me as a consumer, right? So let's imagine you have a compromise account within this workflow, <clears throat> a compromise build process, a compromise package uh, repository. So here you could see from later a to T, um, the different uh, places where uh, you could uh, have compromised stage and steps uh, within your workflow. Um, and that's uh, what the salsa, um, the dev, uh, the website I'm sharing here is defining. And that's a notion of zero trust with uh, software supply chain. And actually, they are helping us out there um, to meet some uh, requirement to be uh, secure uh, within our software supply chain. Um, and one of the criteria is the provenance, the provenance of dependencies, the provenance of code, provenance of packages. Um, and you could uh, meet uh, the different levels, um, Salsa 1, two, three, or four, depending on which criteria and requirement you are uh, meeting, right? Um, and provenance is part, uh, part of that. So very important uh, as a reference as well. And Sixtor is here to uh, directly answer this need of, I need to guarantee that the artifact is, yes, coming from a repository, a registry, but, actually is coming from the owner with a signature, right? So I will double check that this artifact is uh, signed with a, a, a very defined signature. So you could, with Sixtor ecosystem and tools, you could sign your code, verify signature and monitor activities as well. I won't go too much in detail with the different tools of Sixtor. The main one we will see today is Cosign. And actually, when signing code, you could see this very um, evolving ecosystem where you could sign Golang package, Python package, Ruby package, Java package, Rust package, as well as your Git commit, as well as your container images, as well as your Elm chart, or more generically, OCI images that we will go uh, and see uh, in this presentation. So let's 
uh, see the typical and very basic and simple workflow uh, about signing container images. And with that later, we will see how we could have a parallel uh, for um, signing and verifying our Kubernetes uh, manifest. First, I need to build my container image locally, Docker build. If you're using Podman or Builder or other tool, you could build your container images locally. Then I need to push this image in uh, uh, an OCI registry. I have um, mentioned OCI multiple times, so let me maybe define it a little bit. OCI uh, stands for Open Container Initiative. Uh, it's um, under the Linux Foundation umbrella. And the goal is to um, define standard and specification around what is a container image, uh, what is a container runtime, what is a container registry, right? On a very generic way, and not just talking about Docker, right? And actually, an OCI image um, is able to package um, any file, um, a Kubernetes manifest. In our case, we will see later a readme.md, an mp4, mp3 file. So you could archive or bundle and package any file within your OCI image. And an OCI registry, in our case, will be able to host uh, your artifact, your OCI image. So a Docker container and a container image is actually an OCI image, right? So here I need to push my uh, container image. And then I will use cosine. Locally, I'm taking this approach to generate my key pair, the public key and the private key locally. I will use a private key to sign, actually sign this container image with um, the immutable uh, digest of this image. And I will verify with a public key uh, locally. So that's a typical workflow for a container image, right? Now, with this workflow, when I want to guarantee that any container image is actually signed with this workflow from within my Kubernetes cluster, and this cluster is actually just taking and accepting this container image is signed from this workflow and this signature. Sorry about that. I will, um, I will uh, use an admission controller. And in our case, Kyverno is one of the tools you could use, right? So I'm using Cosign. I will sign with my uh, container uh, within my container registry, and um, um, uh, my container image is uh, actually signed in my container registry. And actually, Kyverno has an admission controller and policy engine installed in my cluster via a policy which is this one here. I could define this manifest, Kyberno policy, cluster policy, where you could see this verify images specification for any container images. I need to, please Kyberno, could you check that this container image is uh, all actually signed with this public key, right? Uh, store in this case in a secret. It could be in a KMS uh, from your cloud provider, etc. But here we are making sure any container images is signed with this public key. Very important for container images. There is another approach. Uh, if you know a uh, policy controller from Cisco, that's the same approach. That's a mission controller doing uh, just that. Kaivano is doing a lot of different uh, policies and governance and security from within your cluster as a policy engine. A policy controller is doing this uh, very niche and specific signature check on your con container images. Same approach with a secret in this case. KMS is also working. Um, and here I'm defining my, uh, my policy cluster image policy uh, by using six or policy controller. If you are using Conesser, there is the same approach. If you are using Kube Varden, 
same approach. So that's the typical four tool that you have for um, container image signature verification, right? Now let's talk about how to do that with Kubernetes manifest and why you would like to do that. But actually, you could make sure that any Kubernetes manifest, a deployment, a secret, a config map, name it, is actually coming from and trusted from where it's coming from, from your um, corpor corporation, enterprise, and within your workflow and your uh, software supply chain, actually. There is a first approach. The first approach is using the kubectl plugin for signing Kubernetes manifest. I, I put the, the link of uh, the tool um, out there, and the typical workflow is using kubectl 6 store sign, choosing my uh, YAML file, my manifest, and um, targeting my OCI registry. So this uh, YAML file will be stored as an OCI image and will be signed with this public key, private key actually. And the typical workflow is verifying, right? I will use kubectl 6 to verify, verify this YAML file, targeting this OCI image within the OCI registry with this public key. Right, so that's the typical scenario and workflow for uh, using um, for uh, signing your Kubernetes manifest. As a side note, this workflow, actually the six door sign, kubectl six door sign command, will actually generate an, uh, two annotations, the so message and the signature that you could see, uh, where um, um, the signature will be stored and. Uh, will be leveraged then by the verify command. So just um, that you know that this YAML file is immutable, right? As soon as you have um, updates uh, with this resource within your cluster, let's take an example about the replicas of a deployment, or if you are doing some mutation, um, adding annotation, adding label, adding other uh, um, metadata and data within your resource actually running in Kubernetes, that could be a, a bit of a challenge here. So uh, you need to, to be aware of, of that. And actually, Caverno is um, almost maybe uh, the only one verifying this uh, workflow here by using the plugin kubectl 6 or sign, Caverno will be able to actually do the verify uh, at, at admission control um, when actually deployed within Kubernetes and before being deployed in your Kubernetes cluster, actually. So that's a typical workflow. And uh, here is the cluster policy. Um, earlier, I mentioned the cluster policy for container images. Here, that's to verify the signature of your Kubernetes manifest previously signed by the kubectl plugin um, 6 door. We just illustrated uh, right before. And there is a validate section where you could um, actually target a specific secret or KMS or other approach from your public key. And you could see this very important uh, section, subsection in your field, which is actually um, highlighting for you when you are using this approach, um, this way to be immutable versus mutable fields, right? Uh, here, I'm illustrating for replicas. Maybe uh, you have auto scaling in place. So these values are mutable, uh, they could change um, and you don't want that when you want a signature because you don't want uh, the resource uh, to be uh, changed. Now let's talk about M chart. M chart is one of the way to package your manifest, Kubernetes manifest out there, right? Um, so that's the second approach I would like to illustrate. And let's talk about the typical workflow to sign your M chart. You do a package, um, 
like we did with Docker build, here it's n package. Um, like we did with Docker push, there is n push um, to push this actual uh, OCI image and chart in your OCI registry. I will generate locally my uh, key pair, public and uh, private uh, key here, and I will still use cosine to sign this OCI image and chart actually. And I have the verify command, right, with the public key in this case. Pretty simple, similar to the Docker workflow we had with cosine and Docker um, and your container images. Same for your end chart. I just want to highlight that there is, when you do end package, this, this dash dash sign parameter, which is not yet supporting cosine. Uh, I um, shared at the bottom of this uh, slide uh, the link of the issue mentioning that it's coming in the future where you will be able to actually not using all the cosine command um, at the bottom of this prompt command, uh, but you will be able to use n package dash dash sign directly. Pretty convenient. Um, so just for your information that in the future, this workflow will be simplified. Now, how to, so it was locally, um, cosine, sign, and verify. Again, at admission control time within my Kubernetes cluster, how I could guarantee that any end chart is actually signed, right? Out there, there is actually one tool proposing that, it's Flux, a GitOps tool. Flux is able to pull versus pushing your manifest, is pulling your manifest from a Git repository, from um, an OCI uh, registry. Um, and in this OCI registry, you could have your manifest bundled as entract. And I will illustrate the other method just right after, but Flux is able to pull your M shop from your OCI registry as an OCI image, right? And uh, that's a typical workflow. You have Flux, your GitOps tool installed, uh, and it will be able to pull your manifest, not from a Git repository, but from an OCI registry, and deploy the bundled uh, Kubernetes manifest as an OCI image, right? And the typical manifest, to tell Flux to do that is defining the M repository resource, the M chart, pointing to your OCI registry, as well as your verify section for the for the M chart, where you will define as a secret, for example, uh, your cosine uh, public key. Uh, so pretty pretty convenient, pretty simple, and yet powerful. More generically than an M chart, you could bundle any Kubernetes manifest and any file, like I mentioned earlier. OCI images, again, OCI stands for Open Container Initiative. And um, I will use ORAS. ORAS is a part of the um, CNCF, Cloud Native Computing Foundation, ecosystem and tools and projects out there. And like we, like we did Docker push, or uh, n push, we could do ORAS push. So I could bundle any files locally from the current folder and pushing those files in my OCI registry and doing an archive or an OCI image uh, within this OCI registry. Again, I will use cosine to generate my private and public key, and I will sign this actual container image, OCI image to be more uh, generic and precise. And then I could still verify. So pretty much the same workflow with Docker container image or end chart, and here with more generic approach with OCI image. So pretty simple and again, yet powerful workflow. What is a tool again to validate and verify the signature of this OCI image? Uh, within my cluster before being admitted and deployed in the cluster. Flux is 
the tool um, allowing you to do that. Again, Flux is able to pull manifest from a Git repository, a Nelm registry, or more generically, an OCI images. And again, my Kubernetes manifest will be bundled as an OCI image within my OCI registry, right? And GitOps will have this pool mechanism. Here is a manifest where you could define your OCI repository, like we did earlier with the Elm chart. That's the same, just one resource in this case, OCI repository, and URL of the registry, name of the um, image, and the verify section, provider cosine, and again, storing uh, the public key as a, a secret, right? And that's a wrap. Thank you for uh, uh, for listening, and I hope you enjoy this talk where we demonstrated how you could verify cosine signatures for your Kubernetes manifest, not just for your container images, as well for your Kubernetes manifest bundled as OCI images more generically, um, more specifically as an M chart, and the three options illustrated were were with Skyverno and the kubectl plugin um, for Kubernetes manifest. Second one was with Flux for M chart, and the third one was still with Flux for OCI images. So you have your option out there, and you could add more security from within your uh, security software supply chain. And I hope you you will uh, be able to leverage some resources I'm sharing as well. So three first uh, links are some of my own experience that I have been sharing about Kyverno, about using Cloud KMS and uh, Cosine and Policy Controller and um, other uh, talk about OCI and GitOps. And the last one from Kyverno um, ecosystem, uh, which is a more uh, specific um, talk about the QCTL plugin I mentioned during this talk. Again, I hope you are you enjoy this talk and uh, have a good rest of your conference. Thank you, everyone.